And so it ends another flea market season in the books, done, finished after today. Welcome to Paper and Moose. It is the last day of my usual flea market. I'm hopeful yet. Maybe we'll end the season with a great big haul. Maybe find a vintage grail. Who knows, but we're gonna get out there and see what treasures we can find on this last flea market day of this flea market of 2020. Lots of books. That's cute. In color. Hmm. I'm anxiously awaiting the tote man. I don't know if he's going to show up today. It probably depends on if he has inventory or not. Um, so we shall see, but yeah, it's definitely a light crowd. We'll see what happens, it's still early. As I say, oof, it is barren. This is usually filled. Um, the political sign people are usually here. And that's, that's the end. Sad, sad, sad. So what's the best you do on this? Put it over here. Take your time. It's an old book. It's, um... Pretty interesting stuff, just like love letters and stuff. And it's, somebody yeah. obviously met a woman in the Philippines, and that's what oh, this whole. And if you look at the dates, yeah, and the pictures are in there. Late to the party again. The tote? No, not really. We'll let everyone else unload. <laughs> My luck. I'd grab the the tote full of the heaviest auto mechanics stuff. Oh boy. Let's see what the tote man has today. I think the tote man is a sock man today because it looks like it's all socks. Oh, there might be some vintage clothes in there, but it looks a lot like socks. Yeah, you in the, in the sock business now? <laughs> Hopefully not for long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hopefully by next week, they'll all be gone. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, might as well buy some. Those look nice. I like a nice thick sock. These thin ones don't do anything for me. Ring socks. Oh man, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Explosive pack. This is the oddest, oddest stuff the tote man has had. These look like they're for odd sized feet. I know I have those diabetic socks in here. They do have like an odor Cool Max socks, an odor to them, like mildew, but. Sport socks, six pairs. Nope. Oh, what are these? Legwear. Those are fancy men's socks. Gold toe. See, I saw these, but I don't know if they're gonna fit. Or stay up. 
I'm particular about my socks. See, look how weird they look. Like they're short. Sock University. Oh, wow. Guess I'll stick with my regular socks. Because the musty smell can be... Oh, there's a shirt. The musty smell can be um, removed. You just obviously wash them. I mean, people are buying them for two dollars for a whole pack. Like, why? Why not? These might be the winners. wear them around the house. Oh, shoe size 9 to 12. Oh, they might be too big. They're too thin. Oh, wow. No socks for me today. Wow. That was probably the deal of the day. I spent $40 on a box of vintage Christmas and vintage Halloween, including some Halloween costumes and um, decorations, some die cuts. So to me, that was a, a good price. Cue the music. And so ends another flea market season now. Depending on when I put this video out, there may be additional flea market videos to come because sometimes I do not put videos out in chronological order. I put them out by how fast I'm able to edit because some videos are just a lot easier to edit than others. So it's just my, my way of doing things around here. So there might be more flea market videos from this flea market. So stay tuned for that. But today it was the last day of this flea market. It started late, it did not start its normal time due to the pandemic situation, but it was, it was a good flea market today because it was the last day and we are supposed to get rain, a lot of it this afternoon. I think that that deterred a lot of people from coming out, but I still managed to prevail and find some last day goodies except for the tote man. <laughs> he surprised everyone and he only came with socks. That was it. His whole trailer was socks. First you thought maybe, you know, like behind the first layer there's more, but no, it was socks. I did not buy any socks. $2 a pack, you couldn't beat that, but I guess maybe I'm particular about my socks. Um, you know, I. I don't want any that fall below the ankle that are loosey goosey, that are not nice and uh, that are thicker for the winter time. So I did not buy any. And they also had a heavy scent of mold and mildew, but throw them in the washer and you're good to go. That's easy enough. So I hope he does well on his socks. <laughs> ah. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Anyway, back to the paper because I bought a lot of it. My first purchase was this diamond pin book. It's very cute cover. Um, I wonder if this, I saw this paper. It does have something in it. Second, herdsmen beheld these angels bright to them appearing something light. So just a little, little something that they wrote. Just a little book with some illustrations in it. Um, when was it purchased? I mean made, 1882. I really like the cover. I thought this book would be good if it is, you know, not some super rare book for someone to use as a junk journal cover because of just how, how pleasant or attractive it is to the eye. I bought that. And I did buy a photo album. Now, these wooden photo album, these wooden frames don't do anything for me. 
oftentimes you'll hear sellers say, oh, you could sell, you know, the, this alone is worth the purchase. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I've never been able to just sell a singular, just the, the, you know, the wooden frame on its own, except if it has some really nice ornate um, cover. This looked like it did have some name printed or affixed to the front. Now he said there is some mold. That's another issue, but I'm not too worried about that um, because the paper looks like it's a good shape. Now he was nice enough to tell me that everything that he had there, he got from a garage. He buys pedal cars. And he said oftentimes when he buys pedal cars, he buys a whole garage full. And so uh, to make the deal, he has to take everything in the garage which has all this extra stuff. So he you know, just wants to sell that because his main focus is the pedal cars. He said this book looked to be like a couple that got married in the Philippines. So this is Philippines 1948. Now, unfortunately in the album, perhaps photos were removed. I don't see him as being someone that would remove them because he's just buying everything for the pedal cars, but we shall see. So this is um, Manila, Philippines, 1950. It was a card. From our house, sincerely, Jerry, Felix, and Carol. He looks like a doctor. You can see that. There were some very nice photos. Now, I, do I wish this would have been all filled? Yes, I do. This was taken in Bronx, New York. Love her hair. So there are some, there's some Christmas photos in here, some baby photos. Look at this guy in his, his cowboy outfit. This says keep off. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out what that is. There's an American flag in the back, so perhaps it was at some kind of base. Oh, look at this one. This is a great shot of the little girl with the bridge behind her. Now, this would have been, there are, in the album, it does have some, you know, 1944, 1945. That looks like a siren, actually. There's another one. So once I go through the whole album and put things together, maybe I can figure out the family. Then perhaps my best find of the day were the box of holiday. Even though Halloween has come and gone, it is never too late. Look at this amazing decoration. That cat. Oof. This one is great. It just says made in USA. There's no name. This is Eureka. She has pretty pink nail polish, which usually it would be black nail polish. So that's interesting. I didn't even look at all this box. When he told me the price, I said, sure. These are not double-sided. This is Denison. What is great about these is that they do not have the tape remnants on the back. Not like there's anything wrong with that, but oftentimes when that happens, it makes it very thin, and sometimes that runs through through the front. But these are rather cute. I was yelled at by a viewer because I said really, or super, super cute, super neat, and I was told I'm not in high school anymore, I shouldn't speak like that. Sorry. Is this a bunny? I'm guessing this is a bunny. I didn't look at these. Oh, it is just a, this is interesting because it's a plain one. Huh. Oftentimes they do have something on the front. These are in great shape. Oh, look how, this is the bunny. It's the, the, the mask. That is adorable. This is worth worth the $40 for sure. 
Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. It's the hat. Oh, I think I can fit this. I can. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, there's even more cool stuff in there. I see something that's really neat, hold on. Look at this little cape. This is, I found another, I bought another great cape at the flea market this year for $2. Look at that cute moon. This is in, um, there are some tears, but it's still really nice. Oh my goodness. It's a hat. We have the remnants of a napkin. Looks like they tried to make a hat out of it. They did. They sewed it or glued it together. And there's this piece. This, I wanna say, most likely went on the inside of a pumpkin or some kind of paper mache candy you know, container. And then what would happen is if they put a light inside, it would glow. That's what it looks like. This would look really nice framed. I thought I was going to say on a shirt, huh? You have the box. This says it was for the scarecrow. So not, scarecrow's not in there. Um, he thought this may have been like um, for a tree. This is cute too has reindeer on it. I guess a tree skirt, that's what I'm looking for. Which definitely could. That's rather nice too. Is this a scarecrow outfit? This is neat. Where's the... Huh. This looks like it's some kind of, I want to say like a bodice. That's very spooky. It is ripped on the back. Oh, maybe it was a bag. That must have been what it was. Maybe? I don't know. But that's still neat. Still, the box is still going. Then we have, these are just your regular linens. Plain red one. Then I have this, which we'll look at. We have Santa. This is newer. It's a box. We have more Halloween. Oh my, like this whole, what's in here? Oh, it says Japan. Are these mustaches? I think they are. <laughs> First I thought there were bats in the bag yet. This is worth, worth every penny. We have, oh, look at this witch mask. She is great. There's another face. Oh, we do have the cost. cost. Oh, it's a similar one. Oh, here's the scarecrow. I do have a small collection of these. This is just inside out. And what I do is I have old wooden hangers and I put them, I hang them on the hangers and then going up my stairs, I have a, a wooden beam that has old hooks coming out of it and so I hang them on there. I did not decorate for Halloween this year. My schedule has been crazy so I'm moving on to Christmas but these will stay with my collection. What I want to do this winter is go through all of my holiday decor and start to put aside what I'm keeping and then what I'm going to sell. So that's on my, on my to-do list for this winter if we get maybe a good snowstorm. I think my foot's asleep. Then the bottom, I mean, this is, this is full. Oh, how cute. We have a pilgrim, just in time for Thanksgiving. This looks like a little gnome or dopey. I don't think this would have been the scarecrow. It looks like dopey from Snow White. The Nina, the Pinta, or the Santa Maria. You want to take your pick? Oh, look how cute. She is adorable. Um, Eureka. 
<laughs> we have a little pumpkin. <laughs> then we have more uh, Native Americans. This is Hallmark. Some cute owls and that cute little bat. <laughs> Showing off its stuff. Another witch. A ghost. Hope I'm not boring you all with these. Scarecrow. That that is Hallmark. The classic black cat with green eyes. I have a few of these. Oh, another witch. Oh, there's some devils, so that's good. Cute little cat. I think I have a larger one of that. This one's cute too. Oh, wait to see the skeleton. This is Hallmark again. Even the little bubble, bubbles have eyes. This great skeleton, another denizen. That looks really cool. Really super cool. This is nasty, whoof. We call her Haggard, Haggard Witch. <laughs> oh, here's the pilgrim man. Oh, that's good then, I have a whole set. Oh, there's a cute little, uh, there's larger ones and smaller ones. And again, the backs are great. This one hasn't even had the hole punched out the top. This cute scarecrow. Oh my goodness. You can't be scared of these guys. Look how adorable they are. Another large pumpkin. Another witch. And then two more cats. These are great that they have duplicates because then I can sell some. <laughs> now... Onto the box. Let's see what's in here. I believe it's Christmas cards. So we have snow pile assortment of Christmas cards. Regular per price one dollar. McCory's low price sixty seven cents. Buy me a couple hundred. So yes, vintage Christmas. And they are unused. Santa's looking through his list of all good girls and boys and he's sure to fill your stocking with lots of games and toys. Hawthorne Summerfield. So we have those, They're the cute little choir boys. Still the original envelopes, envelopes, but a little stuck. I liked this one. Jack Frost. Santa. Oh, it, oh, oh, there's two. This one's Santa. He's peeking out the little wreath window. That's a tag. Oh, that is. And here's the one with the little door. And little angels inside. Blessings at Christmas. You could see. Wow. That was great. $40 is great. I spent 18 minutes going over this recap, but heck, it's worth it. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased with that purchase today, with all my purchases. And with this flea market summer and fall in general, you never know what you're going to find at the flea. And now I will have to go to some other flea markets during the the rest of the fall and winter season until this market opens up again in the spring and await that adventure because people during the winter will be stocking up shopping filling up their warehouses and their barns for new finds for when the flea market opens back up we'll be on the hunt for vintage once again so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this recap i hope you enjoyed seeing all the great vintage holiday decor i can never get enough of it just the quality of it the colors the images they cannot be they cannot be beaten you know what we have today in my mind does not stand a chance to these cute things like this so thanks for watching have a great day have a great start to the week or weekend whenever you may be watching this Subscribe if you have not. This way you'll always be in the know on what is going on at the channel. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all next time.